In this lecture, we are going to learn about two important concepts related to configuration settings in NestJS and that is partial registration and module configuration. So with partial registration, it is possible to have module specific configuration files. So for example, in our NestJS application, apart from this app module, we also have other modules like we have the user module, then we have the tweet module and in the same way we also have this auth module so for each of these modules we can create a module specific configuration file and that we can do with the help of partial registration so partial registration is useful for very large enterprise applications where you want to have module specific configuration files because in a very large application you will have a lot of configuration settings so you might want to divide it and create module specific configuration files which will store only those configurations which is required in that module let's understand this with an example so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a module specific configuration file for this auth module and before that in the .env.development file i'm going to create a new environment variable and i'm going to call it as secret underscore key and to this secret underscore key i'm going to assign some string value so for example let's say some secret string value something like this okay and this secret key we only need it in the auth module for authentication let me save this file now let's go to auth module and in this auth folder, I'm going to create a new folder and I'll call it as config. And in this config folder of this auth folder, we are going to keep all the configuration files specific to the auth module. Okay. Now in this config folder, let's create a new file and let's call it as auth.config.ts. And inside this auth.config.ts file, again, we are going to import the register as method from nestjs slash config and we are going to call and export this so here i'll use export default and we are going to call this register as method and the first argument of this method is the namespace so here i'm going to specify the namespace as auth and then here we also need to pass a function which should return the configuration object so here I'm going to return this object and in that object I'm going to create a property and I'll call it as shared secret and to this I want to assign the value of this secret key environment variable okay so again here we are going to use process dot env dot and the environment variable name is secret key let me copy this and let me specify it here so whatever will be the value of this secret key environment variable that i want to assign to this shared secret property let's save the changes now this configuration file is specific to auth module and that's why we should not inject this file in the app module if i go to app module.ts file here we are injecting two custom configuration files app config and database config so since we are injecting it in the app module they will be available throughout the application but this auth config file which we are creating here it should not be available for other modules it should only be available for this auth module okay and for that we do not need to inject this auth module in app module instead we are going to inject it in the auth module file okay so here also we have this imports array and in this imports array we are going to inject that auth module and to do that what we need to do is so let me move these statements in a separate line so here again what we need to do is first we need to import config module so here let's go ahead and let's use config module and let's import it from nestjs slash config 
So here we are adding the config module to the import array and on that we are going to call for feature. Here we are not going to call for root. Here we are going to call for feature because using this config module we want to inject a configuration file which should only be available for a given feature. In this case it should only be available for this auth module. So that's why here we are going to use for feature. And to this for feature method, we need to specify the configuration file which we want to import for this auth module. And for that, first let's go ahead and let's import this auth config in this file. So here I'm going to write an import statement. And since from here we are exporting a default, I'm going to specify a name here and I'll call it as auth config and I'm going to import it from auth.config file. All right, and let's pass this auth config to this for feature method. And using this specific line of code, we have injected auth config into the auth module. And this config file is now only available for auth module. No other module knows about this configuration file. And this is called as partial registration. Now let's go ahead and let's try to use this configuration file. Basically, this configuration file has some configuration settings. Here we have this shared secret. So we want to use it inside the auth module. Let's say we want to use it inside the auth service. So let's see how we can use it. Now here, the first thing which we need to do is we need to inject this module specific configuration file basically this auth config configuration inside the auth service where we want to use it. So in the constructor, currently we are injecting this user service in the same way. Let's also go ahead and let's inject this auth config. So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to create private read only property. I'm going to call it as auth config. Now here, the type of this auth config should be config type. Okay. And this config type, it is provided by nest.js slash config. So here, you need to specify the type of this auth config or any module specific configuration file as config type. And to use this config type, you need to import it from nest.js slash config and this is a generic type so here you also need to specify what is the type of this auth config and for that you need to use this type of operator and here you need to specify the type so here the type is going to be auth config and to use this auth config you also need to import it from this auth.config file okay from this file we are exporting an object so the type of this auth config will be that object so here we are specifying the type and here we have this error because this name which we are providing and this type is same so what I'll do is maybe I'll call it as auth configuration okay so this property I'll call it as auth configuration now this is not sufficient along with this what we also need to do is we need to decorate this with at inject decorator okay and to use this at inject decorator we also need to import it so here we are already importing this inject from nest.js slash common so we need to decorate this with at inject decorator and to this we need to pass a key which is exported by default by the auth configuration when we create it using register as method. So basically when we are creating an object, a configuration object using this register as method, what it does is by default, it creates a key for that object and it also exports that. So to use that key, all we have to do is here on the auth config, we can access this key. Okay, and we need to pass this to this at inject decorator. And this is it. Now we can use 
the configuration settings which we have inside this auth config using this auth configuration property and this auth configuration property it is storing the object which this auth config.ts file is returning so let me save the changes here and inside this login method before we return this response before that let me write a console.log statement and there let's say i want to log the object which which this auth config is returning and that object we have inside this auth configuration property so here i am going to log this dot auth configuration let me save the changes and here we have the login method this login method will be called from this login api and there we need to pass the email and password so let's go to postman and here i have not created any i mean i have not saved any request which we are making to auth api so what i'll do is let me close this from here let me copy this url okay and let's open a new tab for the login we are going to make a post request the endpoint is going to be localhost 3000 slash auth right and since we are making a post request in the body we also need to specify the email and password so let me provide an email and let's say email is test at gmail.com and let's also provide password and let's say password is test1234 something like this now let me go and let me make this request hopefully it will give us the response so you see we are getting this response user does not exist now if i go to the terminal there you will see that that object has been logged here in this object we have this shared secret and the value of that shared secret is basically read from the secret key environment variable and that has been assigned to this property if i go to vs code and if i go to auth config here we have the shared secret property and its value is the value of this secret key environment variable and the value for the secret key environment variable is this string value all right so in this way we can also create module specific configuration files here you will notice that inside this auth service i'm able to use this auth configuration like an object so for example let me write another console.log statement and on this auth configuration if i say dot you will see all the properties i mean the intelligence will show you all the properties which we have inside this object but when we were using a custom configuration file for example if i go to app module.ts file there also we are using this app config and database config configuration files right but here we were not able to use it like an object here what we are doing is we are using the namespace and on that we are accessing the property and we are passing it as a string value and here the intelligence will not show us what properties do we have here as you can see but that is not the case in case when we are creating module specific configuration file there the intelligence is also showing us all the properties available on that object because here we are able to use it like an object okay and this is the advantage we get only for module specific configuration files and in this lecture we learned how to create a module specific configuration file and use it so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day